Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, the topic which we will be covering is shared library. A shared library in Jenkins help us to achieve the dry concept basically means do not repeat yourself, which simply means that there might be some scenarios where we have to uh, reuse some single step or reuse a few steps in multiple pipeline. So in short, you can say that uh, it will make our code a little more modular and uh, we can use some sort of functions and use them in the, our Jenkins pipelines. So without getting any delay, let's directly jump into uh, how can you set up shared library for your Jenkins. Now to set up a shared library, we need to do two type of configuration. One is that we have to set up our source code management repository. In my case, it's a GitHub repository and here's the URL. Again, all these URLs will be visible or available in the description you can check it from there so the first thing you need to have is make sure you have the vats directory inside your github repository or gitlab repository i have it right here and you need to have little knowledge of groovy because any module you write in jenkins shared library is a groovy code or some uh, jenkins steps inside groovy code so any groovy script that exists inside the vars directory will act as a module and any function you write inside these groovy files let's say i have this function named as a uh, function from module one these functions basically are called the sub modules and to use the same in the jenkins pipeline we will be calling it as module name then using the dot operator and then calling the sub module name we will be doing that soon so this is the first configuration you need to do that create a directory named as vars then write your library code inside uh, the groovy file for the demo purpose in this repository i have these two modules and these are the functions inside each module now again library name could be anything you want to these are just the test name which i am using so this is the first part of the configuration of shared library the second part actually is adding this repository to the Jenkins server so that Jenkins should know that which directory or which branch should look for the import. So here is the steps mentioned to set up the same in the Jenkins. You need to go to manage Jenkins, configure system, then look for global pipeline libraries and hit the add button. So let's do that. Here's my Jenkins dashboard. Go to manage Jenkins, look for system, then search for global pipeline libraries and then hit the add button. So it is asking us a few things here. Now the name is something which we will be referring in the entire pipeline. What I mean by that is basically while importing this shared library, we have to use this name. We have to pass this name in the pipeline that okay, import this library. Then Jenkins will look for the other configuration like the repository and other things for the importing. So let's Let's name it as test underscore library again you can name it anything you want then the default version basically is the branch name of the repository in my case it's master branch so i will be giving that so master and the repository url i just have to pass the repository url so there are a few other options basically to define the import for the library you can check these question mark to know in depth about each of these options but for the beginner that's pretty much all you need is the name the branch name of the repository and the repository url so let me just save the changes and as soon as i save the changes the library configuration is completed from jenkins side as well so now we have the shared library set up. From the repo perspective, we have added the vars directory with the, uh, two modules in it. And we have done the configuration on the Jenkins user interface uh, by visiting the following uh, options. I have a tiny description of the main uh, parameter here for the theoretical purpose. Then how can we use the library in the Jenkins pipeline? I mean, we have set up everything. We have the configuration. We have the modules. How can I use the same in our pipeline? So we will be moving towards that part now. But before that, make sure you have the knowledge of writing Jenkins pipeline. If you do not have, the video will be hovering somewhere here in the i button or you can check out this, vi this video from this blog post. Again, the URL for the blog post will be in the description box. So to import a library in our Jenkins file, we have to use the act library annotation this basically means we are telling jenkins that okay we are trying to import a library which is already configured and the another method which we have is using the library step of jenkins inside a single step so there are two ways to use the library as well if you want library to be available in all the jenkins stages of a pipeline you import on the top of the Jenkins file I mean before the pipeline block and if you want the library to be used in a single step then you can define that as well via this syntax 
so here are a few examples like this is the uh, example to import the library for every single stage and if you are using the same in a single step you can use this method let's say if you want to use the specific branch for a specific pipeline let's say you want to test something in your shared library and you want to execute it from a specific branch so you can do it like this just use this at the rate symbol and pass the branch name so i have this branch name already here and the difference here is that in each of the module i have written that it's from branch 01 on the master branch you will see there is nothing like branch 0 or anything so similarly if you are using the same in steps this is how you can specify the branch name so here the master is again the default we can check change it to branch 01 if we want and we can import multiple libraries as well in the same jenkins file that can be done either via this syntax if you are using it on the top but if you are using a step then it can be done something similar so let's quickly uh, run this example i have written here so here i am importing the library on the top of the pipeline and using the module 1 lib module 1 which is again a groovy file we have written and using the function from that file func from module 1 you can check out it's right here so again this is a groovy script so i have introduced a new block as well named as script and it can be and it should be written inside script block only because it's groovy code so go to dashboard create a new pipeline test library 01 it should be a pipeline job okay let me directly paste the pipeline here now again here i'm using the branch one so i should be seeing this lines in the console let me save the changes let me build the project and let me check the last build and the console output so here you see before doing anything it is checking out the repository basically it means that it is fetching things from the library and you can see it's using the branch 01 and similarly in the console as well you can see the string has branch 01 in it now if we do not want to use the branch 1 we can always remove this thing from here now it will be directly pointing to the master branch so let me save the changes build it again and let me check the console of the second build you see here there is no branch 1 or anything so this is how you can use the library by defining or by importing it on the top of the pipeline block. The second method which we have is using it inside this step and again for the module used we have to define the script block. But here we are not importing the library on the top, we are using it inside this step. So let me copy this pipeline code here. Let me create a new pipeline. Let's say test lib02, again pipeline block. Let me paste the code directly here. Let me save the changes, build it. And here you can see in the console of the first build that it is using the master branch and it is running successfully. Similarly, if you go to the configuration of this job and if you want to use the branch 1, you can just do at the rate branch and you can define the specific version of the library you want to use. Just save the changes, build it again and check the console. It is using the branch 1. So this is how you can configure your shared library. You can configure the repository, you can add the same in Jenkins and you can import the same in your Jenkins file. So if you have any questions, feel free to put it in the comment box. Do share the video with your friends or colleagues and subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.